Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Boys, and welcome back to Terraria. In the last episode, we were building, uh, we got quite a few new uh, apartments done for the NPCs. Uh, we were working on, ooh, a little bit of lag spike. Let's see, we did uh, the stylist, the painter, and the die trader whenever he gets here. And I think we did the demolitionist as well. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I, I I don't remember if we did all three of all four of them or if we only did three of them or what. But we we're still working in houses, so there's still a couple more that we need to do. Um, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna take a break from building, and we're gonna head to the jungle. Uh, so we're gonna head to the jungle, and we're gonna try to find and kill Plantera uh, enough times to try to get the. Uh, Oh, what is it? The the trophy. So, we got a bunch of... There's a sandstorm currently going on. So we got a bunch of uh, baddies around and all that fun stuff. So, uh, not that big of a deal. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the... Uh, those are switched, aren't they? Uh, we're gonna head to the jungle. We're gonna find some Plantera bulbs and we're gonna kill Plantera a couple times. Uh, there's not really any items that Plantera drops that I particularly want right now. Uh, there's some good summoner items, which would be uh, would be desirable if we were going for the summoner route, but we're not, so um, doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we just gotta get to the jungle and try our hardest to find a Plantera bulb. And somewhere to fight Plantera. We shouldn't have any issues. Um, and I think I actually want to go ahead and set our spawn point over here. So let's just head down into the depths of the jungle. Uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue down here. Um, the jungle is relatively easy for us now. Um, the beetle armor is going to make us decently tanky. And we've got enough firepower and all that kind of fun stuff. We shouldn't have to worry too much uh, about really anything down here. Uh, so, hey, there's a chest that doesn't have anything I want. The only thing is, is we're not going to be using any potions just because I don't really want to use the potions I have. And, uh, yeah, I haven't made any more. So there is a Plantera Ball. Uh, that was a pretty quick find. So, uh, And there is a nice big open area right underneath. So Plantera has awoken. Where, where from? Over here. So there's Plantera. Uh, we just gotta... You know what, let's use the Phantasm. Ah, uh, that should do a ton of damage. And yeah, Plantera is not an issue. So, hopefully we can get the, uh... Let's just switch to our solar eruption. Ah, uh, so hopefully we can get the... Uh, the trophy relatively quickly. I don't see much reason why not. But... Alrighty then, um, well, there's the Plantera Trophy. Uh, let's open the treasure bag, why not? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, that was cool. Um, so, not the best, but we just got one of the developer items. Uh, that's a cool little development. Um, so we got the Loki's armor and so we get some Loki's die which uh, I kind of want to see what that looks like so we have the reflective silver what's that look like with the it's like a burning that's kind of cool uh, so we got some Loki's die we got some armor some vanity armor uh, it doesn't actually do anything and then wings which um, Go ahead and put those on, and kind of cool. 
They, they do look really cool, but I don't think they're as good as the ones we already have. I don't think they're as good as the fish run. Uh, definitely not with, like, um, the modifiers. But that is really cool. So, uh, the reason I'm making such a big deal out of the, uh, the developer's item is because it is literally like a... It's a really low chance to get from any hard mode um, treasure bag. And the fact that we got it so easily is really cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and let's head back home. We have Plantaris Trophy. Uh, just unset our spawn point. Magic Mirror again. Alright, so let's quick stack what we can. Uh, we have a seedling, which is a pet sapling. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, I don't remember. I don't know the hotkey, so there's the seedling. Kind of cool. Uh, I like the the cat, or the, no, the dragon. We have a cat as well, I believe, but I like that one a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. We got a Venus Magnum, and we got the pygmy staff as well, and a temple key. Nothing major there. Uh, so that is, that is really cool. Um, I was not expecting getting a, uh, developer's set. Uh, you know what, let's actually take these. And I'm going to go find a mannequin. Do we have any more mannequins? Uh, that's a, that's a question to ask. Uh, so we have Plantaris Trophy, let's go ahead and put that in here. So who else do we need to to take care of. We need the other eye, the, the twin. We need Skeletron Prime. Uh, can we do either of those? I could just kill things for a while. Uh, let's see. We have, we have another mannequin. Uh, just for the time being, we're gonna put a mannequin down and there is the dev equipment. That is really cool looking. Um, I'm gonna just put this stuff away. So it is getting to be daytime. Uh, what are we gonna do? So let's see. Let's go ahead and let's quick stack all that money. Let's get rid of you. And let me think. So who else do we need? We need Skeletron. We need uh, one of the twins. Uh, we need the Destroyer, Wall of Flesh. You know what? Let's go kill the Wall of Flesh. Uh, that'll be a nice, easy fight. Uh, we might get some good stuff from it, too. Who knows? Uh, but let's just fall down to the Underworld, and we'll kill the Wall of Flesh. Uh, that means the guide will no longer be around, so that's a little bit of a downside, I guess. But, um, it's one of those that doesn't matter too much. So... It's a long fall. I really need to clean up this corruption one of these days. Uh, the Steampunker sells an item, the Clementator, which is really good for doing that. Uh, it's basically a flamethrower that you can use to uh, change biomes and change blocks to different things. So it is really good for that kind of stuff. It's just a matter of getting it. And I realized I didn't bring a uh, guy voodoo doll, but I'm sure we'll find one down here. They're usually not that rare. So, I'm not even going to worry about switching armor or anything. Let's just try to find uh, some sort of voodoo demon. Alright, so fire bats, don't care. Uh, okay, that was just clocks. Hey, I'll take the Soul of Light, though. Souls of Light are something I probably need to farm one of these days. I should probably set up a farm or something for them, but there's not really a good way other than you make a big giant farm to get whatever you want, and that that's it. Uh, so you just farm, like, the Hollow or, you know, the Underworld. not Or not Underworld, the Corruption. Not really, you know, do anything specific to get the souls. 
Alright, so... Let's see... We are on fire. Don't really care. Not seeing any devils. Yeah, you know, have we explored much of this map? Um, yes and no, not really on that. So let's just go this way until the end. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff to find. But most of it we don't need anymore because just at the level we're at. So, yeah. Um, I was not anticipating getting Plantaris Trophy quite so quickly. Uh, it's okay though, but it's just one of those... Ooh, that's a painting. There's some cool paintings there. Uh, it's just one of those things that like I was not expecting. I was expecting to have to do at least a couple fights. Ooh, we got the fire feather. Uh, that allows you to make flame wings, which are really useless at this point. Uh, I think Fishron are... Fishron wings are probably the best we can get at this point uh, in the game until we can get the uh, how are they what are they considered the uh, I guess the luminite wings is the best way to 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 say so it's just one of those things that like uh, we're we're at the point where we just have to beat the moon lord. And that's not fun. Um, even on normal difficulty, the Moon Lord is still very difficult. Ooh, what's that? Um, living fire blocks, cool. I kind of like the way those look, so uh, getting a couple of those would not be a bad thing to me. So a bunch of lava bats we've killed. Um, there's a slime. Not really seeing any voodoo demons, which is not good. Uh, kind of hard to summon the wall of flesh if there's no voodoo demons. And I don't think we have too much more uh, map to explore. We gotta go around. But yeah, definitely, uh, oh, cool, more living fire blocks. I don't know what's dropping those. I think it's the slimes, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, whatever it is, we need to kill more of them, because I really like those blocks. They look cool. Uh, just to kind of show off what they look like. They're, they're living fire. Um, they look like fire. So, yeah, they're really kind of neat. Red Devil. Uh, while those guys are really cool to get and kill, um, I don't know if we have found the... Uh, what is the item they dropped? The, the Pitchfork spell? I don't know if we have that yet or not, but let's see. Any sort of path. Getting a lot of slimes. Just gonna explore some of the map. More than anything else right now. Uh, just cause, not really getting the demons so, uh, spawning for us. Which, it's kind of disappointing, but it happens. Is that hollow over there? No, that's an ore. Okay. Uh, I saw the really light blue on the map and wondered what it was. Alright, so... Any luck so far? Not really. Um, here's a bit of a cave. There's still a good number of items that we haven't quite, quite found. Um, and there's... Ooh, a spider nest. Uh, let's actually go explore that. That sounds like fun. I just want to kill the wall of flesh. That's kind of the thing I want to do at this point. Um, so, let's see. There's 
spider fangs. Uh, I'm just mainly looking for a web covered uh, chest. They are quite rare, so getting one would be really neat. But it doesn't look like there's one. Uh, I could use the cobwebs as well. These spider nests are the only like regenerating cobweb area, uh, which is really nice if you want a lot of silk. Uh, if you don't really care about it, then I mean obviously doesn't really matter. But if you want silk, uh, the spider areas are the best things ever. And we just got a deadly marrow, which is a bow. It's a really fast shooting bow. Uh, does it? No, it's a it's a click. Um, it's also not very good considering uh, the phantasm is quite a bit more damage. But I heard demons. I just want to see did they drop any items? Don't think so. All right. Um, so back to exploring. Hoping for some voodoo demon so we can fight the wall of flesh and honestly probably at that point call it an episode. Uh, getting the Plantera trophy so early was really nice but also kind of ruined my plan for the episode. Uh, but it happens. So next episode we are going to um, try to finish up all of the apartments for the NPCs. Uh, if we can do that, that'd be awesome. Hey, this is the bottom part of the jungle. Uh, if we can finish up that, then that would be really nice. Um, we can then move on uh, to a couple other things. Specifically, we're going to try to start getting into uh, killing the Moon Lord. That is, that is kind of the next thing that we're going to work on. And really is the only thing left to do. Uh, other than obviously finishing up all the building and getting the uh, uh, getting the the trophies and all that kind of fun stuff, so like there there is plenty left to do, but um, a large portion of it relies on us defeating the Moon Lord, uh, so that we can become even more powerful and hopefully be able to complete a lot of stuff a lot easier. So let's just fly back to the center-ish area and see if we can't find any more voodoo demons. And yeah, I just I really want to just kill the wall of flesh. Um, that's pretty much it. So um, how do I get through this? Ah, right here. Alright, so, no rare creatures. I don't think they show up as rare creatures, which is a shame. Uh, it'd be nice if they did, make it easy to know when there's one around, but they don't, so. Let's just keep going. Uh, we should see our rail track here soon. Yep. And this will allow us to go very fast. Alright, so... Um, any demons want to spawn for us? I'm not even hitting any buttons on the uh, the keyboard, which is kind of cool. Uh, this this uh, minecart is just so fast. You just get started, and there you go. Uh, all right, so our uh, chlorophyll farm is kind of stagnant. One of these days I will finish it as well. That's something else to to put on the list to finish. Um, but it's not something that's really kind of high on my priority list by any means. Hey! There we go. And there goes the guide. Alright, so... Let's just kill the wall of flesh, and all the flesh is dead. And we are inside the uh, little container, so that's that's pretty much it. So let's head back up uh, to the surface. 
and just dump everything off into inventories. Perfect. So, hey, the guide's still here. Um, we didn't get the trophy, but we got not really anything. Um, all right, so I think that is going to be the the, the anticlimactic ending of this episode. Um, it was a good episode, though. We killed Plantera, we got Plantera's trophy, and we got our first developer set. This is actually my first developer set ever in playing Terraria, so that's really cool. Um, so the plan is, next episode, we are going to try to finish up all of the housing that we can. Um, we can't finish up the party girl until she shows up. Um, and we can't finish up the nurse until, um, she gives, uh, until the traveling salesman comes by, but we should be able to finish everybody else up. Um, I don't think there's anything stopping us, uh, so it's just a matter of getting all of that stuff done and going from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!